Hey guys, Clarice here. I am really looking forward to watching this movie today. As you can tell from the title, we're continuing with the Scream series and we're going to be watching Scream 2. Now, honestly, I don't know jack about this movie. And right after this, I'm going to be watching the parody Scary Movie. And so I wanted to at least see a couple more of these Scream films um, to just kind of up my knowledge so that I can recognize some of the tropes that will be in Scary Movie that they are parodying. So with that, let's get into it. Sneak preview, stab. Okay, if that ain't a slasher. Oh my gosh, okay, so the Scream, Mask is everywhere. Yo, is that Jada? And that's Omar? What? What? Wait. Oh, but you will sit through a movie called Stab. Oh, like babies. I say that because this movie came out when I was born, which is crazy. Oh my goodness. Hi, here you go. What's this? Stab souvenirs. The studio sent them. I mean, okay, so they're about to see a preview, but like, so did the, so instead of like a book from the first movie, did the like scream killings become a movie? Is that what this is? Is this about to get even more meta? What? Oh, oh my God. Okay, so Gail did make this. Gail made a book. Okay. From the Woodsboro murders. Okay, Gail made the book and then they turned it into a movie. Oh my God. And they have it in step of vision, which is like 3D. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't expect this. <laughs> I did not expect this. Who's who's playing Sydney? Or who's playing Drew Barrymore? For the Casey character. I'm nervous someone's going to die in this you opening. Know, I don't even know you, and I dislike you already. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, Sorry, come on. What are you playing? I'm nervous someone's dying Jesus. in here. Because of the music. The music's telling me something's gonna happen. See, again, I'm... Something's happening. Something's gonna happen in this movie theater. Something's gonna happen in this movie theater. They're gonna get like copycat killers or something. You should close the door behind you. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! What the heck? I, like stabbed him in the face! Or the ear! Either way, that's awful! So, are we getting copycat killers? Man, we done killed Omar. No, 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 <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Just reminds me of me watching the first one. <gasps> Baby, give it up. There's close. There it goes. Stab. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! What the f- What? Oh my god. Okay, please recognize that there's actual blood. Man, she didn't even want to go see this movie. Should have taken her to Sandra Bullock movie, man. Seriously. Hi there, do you spend too much time on the internet watching videos for hours and hours on end when you know that you really should be sleeping and you probably have a test the next day, but instead of studying, you decided to watch videos, but you do so much searching on the internet that you wonder if hackers are gonna try to find your data? <gasps> well, you could probably benefit from today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. 
Now, what is a VPN? A VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. This is a software that you use on your computer that helps protect your data from potential internet hackers. Now, Atlas VPN is definitely more than just a virtual private network. It has a tool known as the Data Breach Blocker. Now, the Data Breach Blocker helps block malicious links, ads, and trackers from getting a hold of your data, as well as notifying you whenever any trackers are trying to get access to your accounts. This was especially helpful for me as someone who makes their living off of the internet because I find myself using constant emails at different times for different websites. And the tracker tool allowed me to get notified and know that my account was being breached in multiple different ways. So I was able to resolve that, which is fantastic because I'd really like to not get hacked. So just like me, go on and check out Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN is now having a limited time, huge deal for a full three year subscription of their premium line for $1.83 a month. Plus they're adding in an additional three months extra all along with a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can protect your privacy and get all of the benefits of Atlas VPN for a ridiculously low price. Check the links in the description down below and take advantage of this limited time offer. Now with all of that, let's get back to Scream 2. Are we in college? Are we in college, Sydney? Corey Gillis, 5550176. Shit. Hot flash, Corey. Shit. Crank calls are a criminal offense. Damn. Okay. okay, so damn poor fucking Sydney. Like you're telling me first she had to deal with people giving her shit over her mom dying brutally. And now a film and a book deal, a, a book and a film have come out about her traumatic experience with these murderers. So she's going to be prone to getting prank calls from people um, wanting to do whatever the fuck. Like people will do like I just I literally feel awful for Sydney because she's just going to live a life of unsurmounted, undesired attention from people who sickingly want to re-traumatize her. It it's it's really sad. Um, I gotta say, I like her kind of can do attitude about it. I really like that she's like, oh, it's fine, it'll die off. Like I'm like, good for you, Sydney, but I would hate all of that. That's Oh my god, I, I really can't. I feel so, so bad for Sydney. Based any information except for the victims' names, but a press conference is scheduled for later today. The victims, Maureen Evans and Phil Stevens, were both Windsor seniors. Where's Randy? He's got film theory this morning. Mm. Randy! Randy went to the same school, si okay? What? The literal f Oh my god! Everyone? That theater is a direct result of the movie itself. That is so moral majority. You can't blame real life violence. Sarah Michelle Geller? What in the Buffy? What? Daphne? What are you- What? What are you doing here? Don't you even watch the news? Yeah, hello. The murderer was what wearing in the a gold Daphne? mask. Focus of life, imitating art, imitating this life. This is not a hypothetical. It's not about art. Jo what? The Why are there so many? Why are there so many famous people? There are so. Let me pause this. Why are there so many famous people in this movie? Oh my god! But they were all so young. I had biology with that girl. This is reality. Thank you. I agree with you. You know, I might just have one for that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what is it? Nah. That's cheap. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Poor Randy, and he always wanted to get with Sid too. I mean, Randy got kind of cute. His little mustache and side, or not mustache, his little beard and sideburns. Stupid to pull this movie. Yo. Free press, they're gonna have huge numbers this weekend. It'll break box office records. I gotta say, I'm a little. I'm not surprised, but I'm a little disappointed at Gail because of how just exploitative she can be. I understand she's a reporter, but I don't know. I'm just a little surprised because she's. It's just. It's so exploitative. I just. Damn it, Gail. 
That's what it makes me think. So I'm just like, damn it, Gail. Damn it. But the hair is nice. Right, listen, I like Joel, the hair. This is how it works. She did save their lives. That's her. They gotta have a really complicated relationship now, Sydney and Gail. Hello, girls. Enjoying yourselves? Oh, hello, Sister Lois. Hey. Oh, okay, so she's a pledge. What's she looking at? Who is it? Dewey? <gasps> Dewey! 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 I was worried about you. Two days. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's like doing something and acting. That's kind of fun. Hey. Nice guy, pre-med, no apparent psychotic tendencies. Yeah, you should definitely check about that. I don't trust anyone that gets romantically involved with Sydney. Billy ruined that for me. Look, I just want you to be careful, Sid. I mean, yeah, he's completely uh, valid in what he's thinking. I think I don't know that. Chief Hartley said the girl was stabbed seven. Drop it. Hello, Sydney. How are you? If it's them two this time, what do you want, Gail? I don't know, but if it's those two guys this time, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. But I do definitely think it's people in the group. But I don't know if we've met them yet. Well, I was. <gasps> oh shit! I have so many more thoughts <laughs> in this. In like the first thirty minutes of this movie. Oh my god, it's just because now I've I've been acquainted with these characters and as, as I've mentioned before, when when I watch a movie, I like to put myself in the shoes of the characters as if I were playing them. And all I'm thinking is I'm like, okay, yes. Falsely accused, yes. But that doesn't change the years of different sort of traumatic bonds that she made in her mind of fear, um, of discomfort, uncomfortability, anxiety, panic, all induced with this one guy, Cotton. Like as much as he very likely wants to like reconcile and maybe forgive her for falsely accusing him, that doesn't mean she's ready for that. And that's a lot, especially because fucking Gail damn it Gail but to just spring it up on her that's clearly to elicit some sort of heightened emotional response and that's really shitty of her to do and honestly they're both victims here because Cotton really just seems like a guy who wants to move on he doesn't seem like from what we've seen of him especially from the way he just introduced himself to Sydney he genuinely seems like someone who just wants to make amends um and considering that he was sleeping with her mom he probably he likely maybe had some sort of, this is just me speculating, but it's possible he had some sort of amicability or um, an amicability, but some sort of care uh, for Sydney. Um, if he had any care for Sydney's mom, it's likely that he still cared for her and her safety and likely just wants to make amends. He genuinely just kind of seems like someone who just wants to move on with life peacefully and obviously sydney is just trying to get on with her life so again just the blame is on gail Bitch. <laughs> yes oh sydney share with us please oh. there we go we slapped her again <laughs> bitch got bitch <laughs> bitch got bitch slapped again i mean I mean, Gail just keeps doing these things, quite honestly. Like, she's she's doing these things. And she's... Thing is, Gail's not dumb. She's doing this on purpose, guys. Like, she is doing this to intentionally elicit an emotional response. Like, could she be a fully decent, well-rounded human being and be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I'm going to come to you professionally beforehand and be like, we're going to film this. Are you comfortable with that? Do you consent to this? But no, nah, no, nah, that's not how Gail rolls. That's not Gail. Sid? Yeah, you got that on film. Where's she going, Gail? Sydney? Yeah, see? Where's she going? You, what's going on? See? She didn't know? Man, that was cold. She didn't know. You need to check your conscience at the door. I mean, again, though, she didn't know. It's shitty. Oh, hey! I saw that. I was like, hey, Dewey's gonna see Gail. Why don't you just leave her alone? Yeah, for real. Since you've been through enough. For real. And my name is Dwight. Hey! I'm just doing my job. No. Mm. Mm -mm. Don't you think you're overreacting just a little bit? Uh, no. No. I think you set your money hungry, mediocre, right? Ooh. Cold storage shit. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I have some oozing to do. Ooh, I am here for Dewey standing up for himself. Nice streaks. Hey, I am here for this development on Dewey. I am here for this. I am here for Dewey having a spine. I'm here for him standing up for himself. I'm here for him standing up for for Sydney. I know he was he was always brave, just in a very different way. Like he wasn't exactly he he was I wouldn't call him dim-witted. I would say that yes, there was a bit of an experience, but he still strived to do his best. Um, and you can tell that in between that and now, that really did develop into having more character, more gravitas, and more confidence in himself. And I am here for it. I am here for the Dewey development. I don't know if I'd call a sorority a mentally stable environment to be in, but I know they could be fun. That's beginning to become your theme song. You know, improperly toned blonde hair. Yes, I'm dissing them. Okay, what are we doing with Sarah Michelle Geller? Hold on, someone's calling. What are we doing with Queen Buffy? Yes. Ooh, is she dying? Because I don't know you. Yeah, and I'm in. No, it's for Raw too. Do you wanna die? No. I don't wanna. Yeah. Come on. Tell her to come back to the house. Call the cops. Do something. Do something, damn it. Why don't you help her by maybe calling campus security? They messed up the thing. They messed it up. Can you hear me? Someone's harassing me. Hello? Shit. Hey. Donna, Shut up! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Did, did anyone call for me? Shut up! What are you doing here? It got me! It got me! I just thought you were going. Hello, Tim. Damn it! Wish it was Damn it! Damn it! Alrighty, you are not to tell me they're about to kill Sarah Michelle Geller. Dang. I mean, if they do, like you know, they in these movies they tend to kill off the most famous actor recognizable name in the beginning in the first act so let's see Nosferatu in the background man her eyes are so expressive no they're never they're never where you think they are but it could be in that door hello Oh my gosh, come on! Yes! Yes, I don't know if she was already in Buffy, but I was gonna be like, use that Buffy training, but I don't know if the show had started yet. I'm sure y'all will let me know. Yes! Yo, she's escaping well, but oh no! <gasps> oh damn! No! <gasps> oh! God! Oh my God, that is so brutal. I don't like the sound of that. These people are the worst. Okay. All right, is the boyfriend in on it? Is the boyfriend in on it? Be the boyfriend of Sydney Prescott. You are literally in the walking footsteps, like walking in the footsteps of Billy. You're that obsessed. You would most definitely track Sydney Prescott and then befriend her and then become her boyfriend. All right, that camera zoom just said a lot. The boyfriend's up there. Oh gosh, that image is haunting because it was pixelated. <laughs> I've seen those kind of fake flowers before. A lot, actually. Oh my god, he was actually there. I don't know why, for some weird reason, I almost mistook it for a dream sequence. Okay, there's... There's definitely two involved. 
healers in there and Derek. Why is he running like that? Why is he running in there? Well, why was he running like that? That was weird. Come on, Dewey. Oh boy. All right, if you're telling me he's not part of the killers, I'm on to you and the movie. This is a little too obvious. Like, that's too obvious. So they might be doing that to subvert it. But they did that shit with Billy. So. Phil Stevens, CC. Do you have a copycat on your hands, G? Yeah. I called this. What are you doing? I don't trust your ass, Derek. I don't trust you. Nah, it's the music. It's the music. Like, y'all. Come on. If it's not him and it's a completely different person, unattached, that's. Why? Why are you subverting that much? No. Not for your way. They checked out Randy. What? I know he's an innocent victim first time around, but he's a little off, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Randy, the guy's harmless. I honestly think it's those two. That's what they said about I think it's those two. Hey, Sid. It's and nice. I'm pretty nervous that Sydney's <laughs> friend's gonna uh, die, go too. I'm not sure Oh my god. I, I would not tip him. He does not deserve my money. Oh, I still fully believe they're in on it. If that has some Isn't sort of tracking. Rat no shape, way, or form. The brothers are gonna kick his ass. Mm. I still fully believe that he wants to kill her. This movie has to do some serious legwork to convince me he's not one of the killers. I gotta say though, I did actually kind of think it could be the girl too. Come on, just because they did make it a they did make it a thing pointing out that the killer could be a woman. Uh, no. Friends, who do you think's the killer? How about Gail Weathers? Gail, a killer? Why not? Oh no. Please, this is me yes, talking, Randy, but... the unrequited love slave of Sidney Prescott. I knew all about obsession. <laughs> Damn Anything. it, Randy. But if she's not a killer, she's a target. Yeah. So, Gail got it slashed. The guy ain't in the union no more. It's a yeah. Job, Get the fuck out! Go, Joel, get the fuck out! Cameraman, you've got to act like one. I don't want to be the news. Besides, yes. don't last long in situations like this. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you for admitting the obvious. The story is monumental. Oh, do not tell me homeboy's about to die for taking on this because of fucking Gale. Damn it, Gale. Let's get some work done. Okay, everybody gather around. Third act, one last time. Cue the music. Oh boy. Is it Oedipus? I know that she mentioned the play they were doing. The treading made of Troy that once long the hills of Sparta, our kingdom, family. Yo, I'm here for this. I'm here for this art direction. Let's go. Very well produced. Honestly, this is nice. Okay, so someone's actively trying to stab her. I mean, I gotta say, this is pretty on the nose. This is pretty darn on the nose. Alright, she... Sydney. It looks like she was imagining it. But I gotta say, I get I get the theater teacher like coming through and telling her she can do it, but if she's reciting a monologue where she has to run through different spirits masked and fake simulating stabbing motions at her, I think that's pretty on the nose to her. That's just a little it's just a little too close to home. I, I think she should take a break. 
Maybe not. Okay, so what do you want to do, bonehead? You just want to sit here and wait and see who drops next? <laughs> Something's happening with this Bob, though. Gail's not here. I'm not into So, uh... What's up? What's up? What's your favorite skirt? Absolutely. <laughs> <What's yours? laughs> oh, oh, boy. Sorry. What's your problem? Wait. Graduation day? Final exam? Am I close? Why are you even here, Randy? You don't know Fuck that! You! No matter how yeah. you try, you don't. Huh? Hey. Ah. <laughs> What's Do it. Doing? Do it. Get on here, citizen. Can I help you? Hello? OJ? Something. <gasps> no! No way they killed Randy. No. 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 no! Not Randy. <laughs> and it looks like they were in, um, it looks like they were in there in Gail's uh, van. Yeah, because it had the news Yo, playing man, in it. Yep. No, no, Randy. I don't like the killer. What the? Where did the? Where? Where the fuck did you just come from, Cotton? What? Cotton. I know. I know. I know. I, know I don't. And I, I don't. Expected Sydney. I, I I don't like this. <laughs> I don't Brian like. And Sawyer. Hello. <laughs> I I don't like any of this. Sydney, this could be some lovable and fucked up Sydney Prescott, everybody's favorite little victim. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. wow. What are you doing? Yes. Your hand top I'm still upset about Randy. How dare you, movie? I mean, it is. It's okay, Sydney. Also, Homegirl need therapy. Mind you, like this whole time, huh? Why is Sydney in therapy? Like, Sydney desperately needs therapy. Why isn't this being suggested? I mean, he might be. He might seem a little dickish, but yeah. Whew. Hmm. Come on, Dewey! Yo, if Dewey dies, if Dewey dies in this movie, I'm I'm rage quitting. See, for starters, man, pounded my band. Enjoy. Yeah, quit. Quit, man. Quit, Joel. Aww. Why is Dewey so wholesome? Just some crowd footage that Joel. Yeah, maybe you can see the. Yep. Find evidence in the, the crowd footage. Really Dewey still deserves better. Man, look at him, he's so cute! Dewey! I'm gonna say, Dewey's doing a good job, like the actor, he's doing a good job with the limp. Just the physicality of his movements. He's just precious, like, come on! I just really don't want Dewey to die. Like, look at him. Like, he's got- he's got his dignity- like, respect, man! Oh! Let's go do it! Even if- No. Are they- they're taunting them. They're trying to film their own sequel. They're- the killer's trying to film their own sequel. Damn! Do we know? Chill, brave ass. Nah, man. Come on. Come on. If homeboy gets stabbed again. There's no one there. Nope. Oh shit. <gasps> no! There you go. Come on, Gale. You may be a bitch, but you are a badass. Come on, Gale. You make it out of this thing alive. Crap, I feel like the other one might be in there. I feel like the other one might be in there. Get something that could work as a weapon. 
I'm expecting another jump scare. <gasps> nice! Shoot. Shit, 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 You should have said that quieter! No, Dewey! No, Dewey! Gail! No! Yeah. No! 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 No, Dewey, no! No! No, movie! You are not! You are not! No! No, movie, you are not killing Dewey! You're not gonna be able to break the glass. It's bulletproof glass. Yeah, it's, it's bulletproof glass, so... Okay. Okay. I'm so on to Derek. I don't know how it's not him. No, girl, use a best friend. She needs an actual therapist. You look kind of guilty. Okay. Okay, if you're telling me. Okay. Oh, hazy ritual. I just see the potential for a lot of really dangerous, bad things happening. Yeah, I don't like this. Don't ask, don't tell. Oh my god! Well, okay then! Oh my god! You're telling me that some college student was able to top these detectives? Really? Like, what kind of hardcore guard detectives are you? Like, seriously. Out of the car, you fucker! Come on. Shoot him! Shoot him first! They definitely stuck to the rules. This is definitely gorier than the first one. And there's a lot more kills. He's not dead though. Strangle him. When you get out, strangle him. Kick him in the face, do something. Get the knife that they used to stab and then stab him. Double tap, something. Stab him, do something. Come on, Sid, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Choke him. Do something. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Pretty sure he's gonna kill the best friend. Kick him. Killer's getting her. She's dying. She's dying. They're killing her best friend. Killing her best friend. Should have tried to open the door. He's gonna stab her in the leg or something. Oh? What? What? I wanna know who it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. No. Okay, smart people run. We're smart people. Take the mask. We can just get the police. Yeah, and when we come back, he'll be gone. Hey, hey. No, see, Is he's back. gonna be gone already? He's already gone. He's already gone. Yep. What? Gonna get her. He's gone. What? It's gonna get the best friend. Yep. Oh, knew it. No, no, no. I knew it. Told you was gonna get the best friend. I told you.
not not Derek. <laughs> I look so silly. <laughs> I look so silly. Whoa. Whoa. Back up. Why his fingers covered in blood? I meant what I think that it was the girl, the, the best friend's boyfriend that might be behind the mask, just because I could see a little bit of a person underneath it and it looks very much like a white male. Um, but now, seeing Kai with these bloody hands, I don't know. No, 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 no. Uh, I found. I'm still recovering from Dewey. I don't know. I kind of feel like it might still not be cotton. All right, so who's behind the wings? They're not locked in there. Just jump off of the proscenium. Literally jump off of the apron. The apron's right there. Jump off. <laughs> You're not locked. No. What? No way. No way. Thank you, thank God, sir. Yep. Sydney. I called it. What the fuck? I Since called Derek it. Here, told you it was those two. You motherfucker. I told Sid's you it was crazy. those two. You know me better than that. Yeah. Sid. Oh, no, Sid, Sid. No, 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 no. Is he framing Sid Derek? Is Sid. he framing Sid. Derek? I'm tiny. Could it be Sid. framing Derek? Hmm. You are dead! Dead! <gasps> Oh my god! Okay, was it really not Derek? Was it really not? Society, I'll get Dershowitz or Cochran to represent me. Bob Dole on the witness stand. Coalition will pay my legal fees. It's airtight, Sid. I'm an Okay. Okay, this is actually nice. I like this subversion. I like this subversion. Nice. Nice. Come on. I mean, there you go. Nice. Well done. It's nice. I like it. Who's doing that? But you had a partner, Sid. Okay, so he does have a partner. What? No. No way. Gail did this shit. If Gail did this shit. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. That means Gail killed Dewey. Nah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. What? Mother. What? Nice twist, huh? Didn't see it coming. What? She's Billy's mom? That's a good fucking twist! What? Y'all, that's actually a really good twist. That's like really good. I did not see that coming. What? Gonna work. What? Wait to the trial. It is gonna rock. No. Yes. Okay. So what's their plan? Oh no, not Gail! Oh damn. Oh god. So what's the angle? So what's the angle? Did you buy that for one second? Yeah, that makes you sense. My son. Because your son killed multiple people! Your son killed my mom and like multiple other people. Sorry. Not sorry. He was not the best apple in the bunch. You're never gonna get away with this. Well, yeah, no. I will. Killed Nikki dead. But not before he got off one shot at you. 
Who gives a flying fuck anyway? Let them try and track down the second possible killer. You don't know what it is to be a mother. Mm. To raise a child and teach him and guide him and abandon him. Yeah, and then abandon him. I mean, it is the parents' fault. Something's gonna fall. Yeah, things are gonna fall. Something's gonna. This is really dangerous. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, are you gonna get her? Get her! Yep. Man, that's so much damage. That's so much property damage. I, I doubt she's dead. Because those things shouldn't be hard. They shouldn't be that heavy. Because it's a theater prop. Like, you gotta be able to break those things down. I don't know if that kind of logic is gonna partake in this movie. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it did. Because I'm like, there's no way those things are heavy. That would be dangerous to have in the theater. Alright, homegirl is so stab happy. Like, damn. Yeah. They're light. Ooh. Oh, hey! Hey! I did not see any of this coming, okay? What the fuck is going on, Sydney? Cotton meat can still help you, Cotton. Ooh, he really just wants his 15 minutes. That means you lied. As long as she's. Let me think about this. Gail's not dead. You should too. Gail's not dead. Bet you that Diane's. Gail's coming back. Consider it done. I mean, get our story straight for the. The. Press the I knew it. Gail wasn't dead. Could somebody get me out of here? Gail. Told you Gail wasn't oh, dead. Are you all right? I've been shot, of course. Gail's down there, is there? No. <laughs> So Still upset about Dewey. I'm not over Dewey. Shut up, <laughs> For real. <laughs> nice. 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 <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good to make sure. At least they double tap. Just in case. Yeah. Yo, but the camera guy survived. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> He's got more lives than a cat. I like that. I like that question. That's a nice question. Ah! There you go. There you go. There you go. Man, I'm so surprised, Derek. Oh my goodness. I gotta say, I am shocked that Derek wasn't involved. Man. Shame for Derek. I guess he really was just a nice dude. <laughs> Seems suspicious at times. Sorry, man. But Dewey survived, and that is all I care about. Alrighty, guys, and that was Scream 2. Uh, Y'all, I had a really fun time with this. Like I said, the only thing that matters is that Dewey survived. And if Dewey survives, then I'm good. So with that, I really, really enjoyed it. Honestly, I didn't see those twists coming at the end. I like it. I like that it was set up. I like that the script actually set it up um, pretty well. It kind of, it it falls in line. It makes sense. It's not, <sighs> it's not completely out of the blue. It very much follows the formula. I actually like the subversion that Derek had nothing to do with this because it really did very much seem like it. And I was like, okay, if it's formulaic, it's fine. 
But the fact that he really wasn't, and instead it was Billy's mom, is like, okay, all right, movie, I see you subverting my expectations. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, we got more development in for Dewey, for Gail, obviously for Sydney. I am really upset that they killed Randy, though. I'm very upset about that. I loved Randy. And um, yeah. Mm, I have to felt that. But other than that, that was uh, that was really, really fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this with me. Um, not going to be doing too many more of the of the sequels in with Scream. However, you guys can let me know on YouTube if you really want me to keep watching um, the next ones or so, because I know that there's quite a lot. So if you guys recommend it enough on YouTube, I will put it on YouTube, but I will be continuing the sequels on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see me watch Scream 3, that's going to be over on Patreon. If you guys ask for it enough, I might just put it on YouTube. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Take care, guys. Please make smart choices. Don't, um, don't become sociopaths. Um, don't kill people. Yeah, just you know, be good, decent people. <laughs> Either way, please remember that all of you deserve love, joy, happiness, and all of the wonderful things in life. Make good choices and please, please, please take care of yourselves and don't, don't be out there doing weird stuff, please. Take care. And if you guys want to keep going in with the, with, uh, the Scream kind of scary movie series, you can check out this video over. And if you want to go in the complete opposite end and have a good laugh, you can check out some of these. So enjoy. And with all of that, bye-bye.